in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of Budge Bananas. I'm yours, Kevin. And I'm Eric. And today we have Thierry. Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? Hi, you I'm good, good bro. I'm good, yeah, yeah. Came nice. from Birmingham. Yeah, 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 all the way from Birmingham. Uh, Longest just... trek so far. I know, man. I know, Longest literally, trek so literally. Far. I'm surprised. I thought you were from London. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people um, do, but um, yeah, I go uni in Birmingham. Uh, yeah. You'll be, so. Oh, shit, uh, bro. Don't tell everyone there. They're not looking for you. <laughs> no, they know anyway. They know yeah, anyway. They know, they know. Yeah, bro, yeah. he's a big man. He's a big man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's uh, would you like to explain uh, who you are to the audience? Yeah, so um, I'm 22. I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, but I grew up in the UK and I'm a uni student and a content creator. Nice, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Fresh as fuck. Look at it, bro. Bro, man. He's <laughs> making us a bad, man. No, keep nah, prepared. Keep prepared. Came in taller than us, looking better than us, man. <laughs> Guys, out to our glasses today, Like that, man. yeah, Gassing like that. Me, bro. But yeah, nice. Your proper, your English is really good as well. Like, it's like yeah, proper, yeah, proper yeah. like British. No, I grew up here, bro. Yeah. Oh, you been, grew up in, in yeah. England? Yeah, I've, I've been oh, here. Right. I've been here since I was born. eight, bro. Literally said, it's since eight. eight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. You know, I just you got came here. over from Hong Kong to study No, I've been here since, yeah, I did, I did, but like when I was eight, yeah. When you were eight, yeah. Oh, my God. I've been here since primary school, bro. But you said you're paying international fees then? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not a UK citizen. Even yeah, though you've been here for yet. that long. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a UK citizen yet. Oh, I will I be swear. though, I will be. But like... That is well, crazy. how many years left have you got to... i got like one more. One more but year? Oh, I'll be, but I'll be done with school then. So yeah, I'm yeah, getting, yeah, okay. getting, getting ripped Damn, off a bit. But yeah, I was yeah. going to say, but that's crazy. Yeah, Imagine know, moving here when you were eight and it takes that long to get citizenship. Yeah, because it takes like 10 years and a bit, but um, you got to like kind of like process the whole thing or some shit. Damn. So yeah, it takes yeah, a while. Yeah. Like, it's... Crap, bro. It's annoying, man. It's annoying. Oh my God, that's Didn't realize crazy. it was that hard to get that dual citizenship, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that is mad. I, I generally thought, I thought you came over for like, uh, I don't know, 17, 18. Oh, no. Nah, it's like, bro, shit, your, your eight, English bro. and your accent is like proper. Like, yeah, yeah. So where did you grow up? Um, went Hong Kong. In, in England. Oh, in England. oh uh, so I was in Kent for primary school. Okay. okay. Yeah, Kent. Then I was in Derby for a couple years. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I was in Birmingham for A-levels and... I'm still in oh, Birmingham. you moved around? Yeah, I moved around. I've never been in London though. I've never like, lived here or yeah, studied yeah, here, yeah. but yeah, mainly just been around here. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Do you miss Hong Kong? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. When I first got here, I did because yeah. I wasn't used to it, but. Oh, How was that like then? Like coming so over from I, Hong Kong yeah, yeah, as an eight year old? It was kind of hard, bro. Eight years old because yeah. I didn't know English back then. I went to a local school, right? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. my English was like. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, bro, like, yeah. I had like the proper like Chinese accents and so everything. Yeah, yeah. And it was kind of hard. It's hard making friends the first year or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you kind of just get used to it and adapt to it and stuff. Yeah. So while she was here in primary school, did you experience any racism with um, within your schools? Um, I'll be honest, no, not really. really. Yeah, in primary school, because yeah, I, I feel like a Derby Kent, these are the nah, places, isn't it? No, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because I think it's because I was too young. Like okay. when people were eight, they didn't really. Oh, you yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I feel like if I came in when I was in secondary school, yeah. like maybe year eight, year nine, yeah, then yeah, maybe, possibly, maybe. Yeah. But by then, I was I was already like basically like a UK kid by yeah, then, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah. but when I first got here, I was only eight, and people weren't really like picking on me like that. They were just interested because they never seen like an Asian kid before, honestly. Mm. Yeah, especially yeah, in those areas, yeah. all white people, weren't yeah, yeah. I was the only Asian kid in my school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was, it was my me, school, man. one Japanese kid, and every everyone else was like white or black. Like, you felt so. unique as fuck. Yeah, yeah. No, even in my primary school, bro. My my what's good? My primary school, I've been to like what four different primary schools, isn't it? All mm. for different reasons. Yeah. And like each time, for some bizarre reason, I'm like one of the few Asian kids. Yeah, yeah. it's always you're in London. Yeah, but I'm in London. That's weird. Though, yeah. it's, it's confusing as hell, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, to be honest, like parents weren't really sending their kids to primary schools abroad already. Yeah, you know, exactly, it's quite exactly. rare to have it. Like, yeah, I guess so only like many... private schools and that, isn't it? Like boarding yeah, schools and stuff so. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, not like local schools and stuff. So like. what about online? Like, do you do you receive any like racism online? Not particularly, no. Really? Just because my is audience is... My, oh, really? Is it just us? <laughs> my audience is mainly based in Hong Kong anyway. Uh, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. I speak Cantonese in my videos mm-hmm. most of the time anyway. So I don't really have any, like... Most of my audience is, like, same race as me. They wouldn't be uh, like racist, yeah. you know? Yeah, so yeah, which, which language are you better at? Hong Kong or uh, Cantonese oh, or... Uh, English, English. English, yeah. English, yeah. Oh, you're... Oh, okay. Like, Cantonese was, when he was eight, man. He's been building yeah, his yeah. English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Been, I saw he's got that, a better yeah, version of the London accent. Yeah, no, I saw you that. Think so? the, I was yeah, no, you really? man, probably, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah kind sick. of more of a roadman accent, apparently. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> I was gonna say though, because you've been you what started like filming like eight years old, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Vlogging no, not eight years old. I was like, oh, 12, like, yeah, I was, like yeah, twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, crazy. yeah, I was just bored, honestly. Yeah, oh, I, I, yeah. Back then, YouTube, I didn't know what it was. Like, I just, I was just bored. Just, I had a couple ideas yeah. in mind. I just kind of talked to the camera. Oh, nice. But man. online, you know. What kind of content did you make as a kid? Oh, I, used, I did gaming videos starting because sports. Of course, yeah, yeah,
like make skits and stuff, like okay, talk to yeah. the camera, yeah. share my life and things like that. Then I stopped for a few years and I came back on in, doing it on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah oh, but good. you've grown a lot. Like your content's quite broad as well. Like it's not stuck to one specific type of content. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Like what? You got day in the life, you got workout videos, you got cooking videos, I believe. Yeah. It was um cooking you, videos as well, yeah? Yeah. Uh, every now and then. Were you were you chef it up? No, I just kind of added add in my day in my life videos. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Share he does funny videos. Yeah. I think I saw this other one. It's like um Oh, when you ask when you ask someone um what do they want to eat and they just give you oh yeah I don't oh, mind yeah, 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 yeah. that one was funny <laughs> and you just see like what's it called you cooking yeah, but yeah. with that like, piece of paper and it was like yeah, the yeah, type of comments mind. you get in it yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but alright so um I want to ask you about you know the whole um so I I was scrolling for your scrolling for your content yeah and then um I saw one of your older older posts where you right. used to have acne oh yeah and I'll, I'll be I'll be, I'll be straight with you I had, I had terrible acne back in the day yeah, as well. Yeah. So I'm just curious, like, what magic did you do to your face to get rid of the acne? I, um, so I I tried everything, bro. Like, um, so I I remember I tried like getting this cream before from um, like those over the counter creams. Oh yeah, yeah. It didn't really work. Then I saw a doctor, like a dermatologist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They gave me like this. I can't remember. Like, it's like some retinoid cream, right? Yeah, yeah. And didn't really work. Like it worked while I was on it, but mm-hmm. once I stopped using it, it it would just start breaking out again. Ooh. Oh shit. Then yeah, so. It, the whole journey was like, it took me like four years to like kind of really Damn. get rid of the skin. So I had like really bad skin for a long time. It was when I was like 15 to yeah. around 19. Yeah. So like my comfort was like really low back then. Yeah, no, nah, like uh, I think some people don't seem to understand out there. Yeah, right. Like how self-conscious people with acne are. Yeah, mm. yeah. Even though if you're not like that conscious about your looks, like just yeah. walking outside with like, like pimples everywhere. Like yeah, you feel yeah, a bit yeah. worse. You know what oh, I mean? No, it was bad. It was bad. I had acne back in the day as well. Do you remember Kev? Yeah. My acne was horrific. Yeah, yeah. I had like, my forehead was covered. I don't know why, but it was all centri- like, like centric around my forehead. Shit, I didn't remember that. Actually. It was so bad. I'll, sh- I'll show you guys a picture later, yeah, but it was- Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. My, my forehead was gone. It was like literally <laughs> yeah, yeah. out of play, man. Like I, I was actually self- self-conscious about it because I don't really have much going for me in it. So my forehead as well being like that was just, was not it. You tried yeah, to do yeah. the Korean stuff? I yeah. don't know. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. I never, I've never heard about skin, it. Heard about it. Yeah. But crazy. mine was on my cheek though. I never had it on my forehead. See, mine oh, was yeah, opposite. Yeah. It was on the, it was on yeah. the forehead. <laughs> yeah. But like, to be fair, like, I still the, got it, bro. I'm fucking yeah. 25. I still got like fucking pimples everywhere. <laughs> nah, but yours, it's not, your one's kind of like, I think it's deep I'm saying it's so. balanced. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like natural maybe. as well. Yeah, yours like, is balanced around your face, so it's fine. My one was, I hate the fact when it's centric, like it's all focused on one area. Then everything else is fine, right? Yeah, yeah. So, now I got lucky though, because, um, like I tried some, I tried stuff. I tried mm. different creams and whatnot on it. And even tried to like, you know how I'm so shit with skincare, you know that, right? Yeah. But, you know, I'll I do very basic stuff. I started doing some stuff to try to get rid of it and none of it, none of it worked. It will even make it act up more. Yeah, yeah. But luckily I got a mate who's disappeared off the map now, but um, I have a mate and he's very, he's very like skin focused because okay. his skin's not that great either, isn't it? Mm. And he introduced me. He's like, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a magic, like it's literally it's not a magic potion. And he said that as a joke, innit? <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a go. It's called um, Hexamidine. I've never heard of it. Uh, it's like that's a, a strong, that's a strong yeah, story. Yeah, it's called, so it's called hexamidine. It's a, a fr- uh, an antiseptic, an antiseptic. And essentially what I did was I'd wash my face. No, was that what? No, that's it. I'd pop a spot first. I shouldn't do it, yeah, okay. but I can't help it in it. If I have a spot, I'll nah, pop it. don't pop it. Bro. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Don't take my advice. <laughs> but basically, if I have a spot, I'd pop it. I'd get rid of that pus. Then I, you know, I'll clean my face after with um, good morning cleanser, innit? just oh, to make yeah. sure my face okay, is clean. Okay. And then afterwards, I'll, I'll apply the antiseptic, so hexamidine, on my forehead, on the spot. Oh. And essentially, I think it dries out the pus. Mm. Okay. And that's what worked for me. Okay, but it's not going to work for everyone. Like, my skin's different. You tried them like acne stickers? Like, you mean ac- um, them, them, acne patches? Yeah, yeah, yeah the patches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 they're pretty sick, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, because yeah, you don't got to pop it. Because they just can't yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, no, I only start like, using them like... Soak it up in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, literally. So I would walk in school. I would walk around with them. Like, casually, because... It's pretty yeah, like, you can't really tell, to be honest, most of the time. No, you can't, you can't. Yeah, unless yeah, you're exactly. bare close. Unless yeah, 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 bare like, close. <laughs> I was going to say, go back to you, uh, you making content. What, uh, you said you, you do it in Cantonese. Yeah, yeah, Was Cantonese. Any purpose in that? Any what? Any purpose in that? Like, what? Just um, audience. I just feel like, no, no, I just feel like I stand out a lot more with like a, mm. to like the Hong Kong viewers than yeah. I was in the UK. Yeah. Um, Because, just because I can share my life in the UK to like a Hong Kong audience, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. that's like really interesting to them because a lot of them just grew up in Hong Kong. They kind of just they kind of just stay in Hong Kong and they always want to know what the Western coach is like. Yes, and I can, I can show that to them yeah. like through my videos. You know what I mean? I, I can, like, I'd rather target a Hong Kong audience. I feel like I stand out a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I mean, That's you're really... giving them what they want, right? They want to yeah, know more yeah, about what's going on over here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I want to talk about your, the whole fact that obviously being
It's is he though? Are you really in a chance student? Because yeah, like, actually, actually, yeah. Do you know I, I mean, like, it. it's oh, been there since eight though, years yeah. old. So I don't know if it's. I know, but he doesn't have the passport, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, then, yeah. Technically, yeah. technically, yeah. technically, one day I'll get it. One day yeah, I'll get it. yeah, yeah. But um, honestly, it's hard. It's hard to compare though because I never really studied in Hong Kong apart from mm. primary school. So, yeah. but being an international student, um, I guess, um, I mean, just getting adapted to like the whole when I first got here. It's quite hard getting adapted to like the whole new culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're always around people that speak Cantonese, around people that are your, your race. Then yeah, one day you just kind of like just being around a hell of UK people speak yeah, a different yeah. language. That's the hardest part. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess because I'm so used to it now, you know, what yeah, I mean? it's hard to like answer. Yeah. It's a hard, it's a hard question when yeah, you've yeah, been yeah. here since you were eight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, All right, yeah. what would you say is the main differences between I don't know Hong Kong and the UK for you? Um, Hong Kong is a lot more convenient. Oh, wait, have you guys been to Hong Kong? Yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you oh, should one day. I mean, to Vietnam one day. though, so man, I'm hoping yeah. there's some some similarities there. <laughs> okay. Well, Hong Kong's like very like very convenient. Like everything's close to everything. Everyone's close to everyone. Just because it's it's a small city, it's like mm -hmm. really compacted. Whereas UK tends to be. I mean, you got like train strikes and bus strikes and stuff. Like it's yeah. kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of annoying, bro. Yeah. Could it be so annoying yeah, yeah. if it happened to you today? Yeah. Yeah. And Imagine. Hong Kong is like. I mean, honestly, if you're like hungry at like 11 p.m., you can literally just go downstairs. Everything's still open. Yeah. Like, everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything is 24 hours. In UK, like it gets dark at like three. That's yeah, 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 bro, I hate that. I yeah, hate I know, that, bro. I know, I know. Bro, you can never, yeah. do you know, you can never trust the weather over here. Yeah, you can never yeah. trust yeah. anything, bro. It's like bipolar, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. It's like, 1 p.m. is sunny. 3 p.m. is. <laughs> you can never trust him, and you look. You can never just trust by looking outside. Yeah, honestly, honestly, it never works. It never yeah. works. Do you? Right. Um, sorry. Sorry. Mm. Uh, I was gonna say was, do you go back often then? Uh, once a year, maybe twice a year. Once a year, yeah. twice a year. So oh, okay. it just depends, honestly. Um, when during COVID, I didn't even go back for like three, yeah. four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same but with me. um, yeah, once a year, I'll say. So. Yes, man, nice. So what family do you have over here? Here, no, none. No family at all. Um, I got like, a couple of relatives, but I'm not close with them. Ah, uh, but my mom's yeah. always been in Hong Kong. Mm. Oh, so you moved here by yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Here. That's crazy. Yeah. And you were eight. Yeah, yeah. You what? You wait, wait. Sorry, you moved to the UK when you was eight. Yeah, I went on to once. Yeah. Obviously, you you stay with family. No, I, I, my mom came over for a bit, just like once I but once I settled, I was just here alone. Yeah, settled where? Wait, wait, wait. wait in wait, in wait, the UK. Go once back, I, once I got okay, fine. Right, so <laughs> eight years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on a flight by yourself. You come over here. Yeah, who's oh, no, speaking I, you? I flew with my mom. I flew my okay, mom. you flew. You, you flew your mom. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And then you got to Kent or wherever you went yeah, to. Yeah, Kent. And then you, she, she 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 chilled for a bit. Yeah, she was here for um for like two three months. Two three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think the first term she was here. Right. Then um. She couldn't stay for long. She, cause she don't, she's not a citizen here, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, she yeah, went yeah. back. She went back. Then I was just here for long. So wait, wait. Where did you stay? Go, she's not a citizen. School, boarding school, bro. But then you, oh, oh you came over yeah, as, yeah, as a, student. a student. Yeah, yeah, I was a student. That's what you mean. Okay. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, feel like damn. some immigrant child is like, no, bro. Bro. Right? I was like, I ain't saying that on here, bro. Yeah. My, guy to, my guy had to struggle for his life on the streets. So I was like, yo, I'm a bit confused. So what's crazy? What was boarding school like? Boarding school, um, it was cool. It was cool. Um, is it? I think Did you got yeah, all boys. I, I, no, no, mixed. boys mix. Yeah, mixed. yeah but, don't um, go to all boys, but I think it helps with making friends just because you're always around them. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. if I wasn't a boarding student, like boarding, I didn't go to boarding school. It'd be a bit harder for me. And you know, because you can always hang out with them after school and stuff. Yeah, you, know, you say, basically yeah, live yeah. with them. You see them twenty four seven. Yeah. Um, boarding school was pretty pretty nice. Yeah, I think is... most of my friends I met in the UK were because I was a boarder. Uh, yeah. So is boarding school kind of just like. Being in university by a younger age, kind of though it's not as well. It's not because they kind of like, cook for you and stuff. They you always have like a um, you're always doing something. You have like, like a routine basically. So at seven p.m. you it's time to do your homework or whatever. So like military. Ten p.m. there's like a curfew. Like you. Oh, they, like that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So like military. Yeah, basically you can still say that. You can say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's wearing camo, bro. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> day in the life. Yeah, day in the life. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy, okay. man. Oh Shlap. man, I did, okay. I thought you came over with your family. And you, you kind of like settled it, but oh no, no, that's what I'm getting when you say the she did not But I'm like, oh, yeah, I thought you thing. lived over here with family, you know? No, yeah, bro, yeah, no, yeah. bro. Damn, that's great. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Man, move. life must have been difficult, like, yeah. well, a lot harder. But you know. yeah, no, I, no. I, I, but you know, I wouldn't recommend coming this early though, because mm. um, I feel like I'm very distant with like the Hong Kong culture, because because yeah. I never only grew up there, I only lived there for like eight years, and yeah, I just, and I dipped, and also. I'll be honest, I'm quite like distant from my family because of that. Because mm. my family, my mom never really watched me grow up because mm. I was always away. Yeah. yeah. So since I was like eight, I only really see my parents like two months every year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, because when I go back, that's yeah, the only time yeah, I really yeah. I'll call them and stuff, but 
yeah, because of that, I feel like I'm quite distant with my family. Mm. So it, there's pros and cons, but I mean, it just depends on like your priorities mm. and stuff. You know, I guess. So what made your mum come to that decision to kind of send you over here for boarding school? Oh, so uh, I was always going to come to UK. Mm. Not that early. That wasn't the plan. The plan was year six or year eight. Mm -hmm. But um, because I, I had ADHD growing up, you know? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I think I said it in a couple of my videos before. Yeah, that's why you chew your gum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know my stuff, wow, man. Okay. Come on, bro. Guy, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I know my stuff. I feel like I'm the bad guest now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit, man. Yeah, I'm the yeah, bad yeah. Sorry. So I had that growing up, and I struggled in school, in primary school, mm -hmm. even in Hong Kong. Like you gotta understand, like Hong Kong primary school is different, bro. Like oh, the people, hell. like it's different. Like people really, like it's really intense. There's exams and stuff. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, in primary school, yeah, I'm bro, telling Asian you, bro. Schools, bro man, Hong you know. Kong primary schools, it's different. Like really, bro. There's English exam, math exam. But it's like every subject, bro. Yeah, I'm not yeah, joking. But educational, the education system in Asia in general is just way, yeah, yeah, way yeah. higher than yeah. it is over here. It's so crazy. And you're talking about exams. I remember back in primary school, I was, I was having golden time. But we, yeah. we have nap time, innit? Yeah. Chilling. Yeah, okay, nap, nap, nap time. time. What the hell are you on about? Nap bro? time. You know, nap time. Nap time. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, you, one year you, two. Nah, nah, nah. You went to different Come on, places, bro. You, you, I didn't you have nap time. time. Well, nah, you, I had golden time. What do you mean? What's golden time? Golden time is just break. Like you just play. You play games. You muck about. I had yeah, that. Yeah, I had that too. Yeah. Where yeah, was yeah. nap time? You just bring you your pillow nap to in school. It, you just go sleep. Is it like, you... like in Japanese primary school? Yeah. Well? Would you bring your pillow to school and just nap? Nah, I feel you just sleep in the classroom, innit? This guy went to rich primary yeah. school. No, I didn't. What I literally is... went to public school, bro. I swear nap time is a thing. Nah, it's not a thing, man. When you're like year one, year two. Nah, I don't know no? about that. Well, so Maybe I'm mixing up with just nursery nap time. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I just go and sleep in it. Nah, man. I went to, what's it called? Nah, nah, nah. I went to like a like a proper primary school, innit? Over here in obviously in, in London. I went to proper private school nah, as well. Why are you asking acting like that? Why is it the, nap time? Nah, well, nap I time swear you go, you just sleep, bro. Nah, look. And you have a milk car and then you go. I, I, I might be mixing up with nursery. Oh. I might be. I might be. It has I to swear it's that weird one of you two. I don't think there's nap time. In yeah, that's school, nursery, bro. bruv. No, that's nursery or reception. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. we bad, had bad, that bad, too. Bad, for, bad, like, yeah, yeah, when that, yeah. When you're when you're that young, I can understand having you know a time where you can nap. But not in primary school. No way, bro. That's crazy, bro. What the hell? Yeah, nah, I went back to Hong Kong there. What yeah, so like? Hong Kong um, primary school was kind of hard because it's very, very intense. Like people were doing tutoring outside the class. Um, what's 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 that? Ch tutoring. Tutoring. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So they have like a private teacher type kind of thing. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's yeah, it crazy. Yeah. Like it's very intense. It's like really competitive, mm, and it's like I mean, rankings and stuff. Yeah, like so. Ranking the, yeah, yeah, rankings. Yeah. So the smartest kid would be like the one, two, three. And you, you wouldn't know who was the dumb kid in school. Damn, that's yeah, what makes yeah, you work exactly, harder. Yeah, exactly, I was a dumb kid. Oh, that was, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah. that mean me as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. me as well. Yeah, trust me. But um, so yeah, I was kind of struggled a bit because it's really because my ADHD. Cause I couldn't really concentrate in class. Yeah, yeah. And it was very intense. Like, and there was so much homework, homework every day. Like, mm. it took me like two, three hours to do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even more. So, and my mom just kind of thought this UK, where it's like it's more chill. It's mm. like it's nowhere near as intense. Mm. So I think it was more suitable for me. To oh, she yeah, wants yeah. yeah. to send it a bit easier for you. Yeah, kind of. I guess like something that would suit me more. Yeah, mm. like it's, it's, yeah, because there's also like extracurricular stuff as well here. Mm. You can, like you can go around and play football and stuff. You don't have that in Hong Kong, bro. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. I mean, I feel like as well, like when you go like talk about ADHD and yeah, mental yeah. health um, stuff, is like I think. Hong Kong's not adapted to that, especially yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. well, they don't really that's acknowledge facts, it. Bro. Yeah, they wouldn't really acknowledge yeah. it. Like, ADHD, what are you talking about? Bro? Yeah, just yeah. fucking do your homework. Do yeah, you yeah, mean? yeah, exactly. Like, that's that's, what so, that's yeah, so true, like, bro. I remember what's called because I got I got OCD, undiagnosed, but yeah, I definitely yeah. have OCD. Okay, my friends okay. can vouch for it. Innit? Yeah, I told my dad about this because I do some silly stuff in it. Yeah, like, I would well, come in, like let's say I enter my I enter my house, I double check the doors, I look around the room, and I do loads of stuff, and my dad's like looking at me like, what the fuck. Obviously, when I whenever I explain to him, I got OCD. He's like, yeah, they don't get it, right? Yeah, they don't yeah, get it. He's yeah, like, yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I was like, it causes me to overthink. He's like, just yeah. don't think about it. Yeah, yeah, it's not that's, that easy. It's really yeah, exactly. not that easy. That's basically the teachers in Hong Kong, because um, back then as well, because it wasn't really a common thing, mm -hmm. and people the teachers would just like see me as like a bad kid because I didn't do my yeah, homework. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah, they wouldn't yeah, even yeah. try to really understand. Whereas in UK, I feel like the people are more accepting to that. Hundred percent. They'll be yeah. like, oh, ADHD. They oh, try, no, definitely. They're trying to understand it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. So. That's really the reason why I came to UK so early. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Preface though, Hong Kong obviously is yeah, like yeah. is adapting and it's like yeah. we're obviously understanding across all, you know like all, all countries anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. So that means your so does that mean your mum um understood that you have ADHD or she just understood that you're struggling with it? Uh, she understood. I don't. I don't think she completely understands the whole like ADHD. I don't really blame her for it because yeah. I mean she doesn't have it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. It's, it's it's really hard to understand and hard for me to explain as well. So how did you how did you know you have ADHD?
I couldn't even sit still, bro. Like you can see me sitting still now. Yeah, like, yeah. Back yeah. when I was a kid, I couldn't sit here right now. Really? Yeah, I'll be like playing with the books and stuff. I'll be I playing with really? this. I'll, be, I'll probably be unplugging this and stuff, bro. I think that's a normal yeah, child, though, though, no. isn't it? I, I think if you wasn't chewing gum right now, you'd probably yeah, maybe, be like, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it keeps me like calm, honestly. Like it's yeah. like a life hack. Like my doctor taught me. It just it keeps me fizzling. Yeah, but it yeah, doesn't bother yeah. people, right? Yeah. So I wasn't chewing gum. Maybe I'll just be like reading these books or something. I don't know. I think chewing gum keeps me awake. Yeah, because like your mouth, yeah. your body's doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like it's not just sitting there and then just getting tired out on it. Like you're chewing, so you're moving, you know, the muscles in your mouth and it's just keeping yeah, you awake. Yeah, yeah, That's what I think anyway. It's what, yeah, what's yeah. Work. It works for me as well. Yeah. So you went to doctors, uh, you, you got taken to doctors at what, uh, eight years old or? I was seven. I was seven, seven when so I got diagnosed. Yeah, yeah, so I was year three, I think. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, yeah. my mom like realized, oh, you have like a, like this ADHD thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, she tried to understand it and the teachers knew about it as well, but. Uh, some of them tried to understand, I think, but I was kind of like, they were kind of like picking on me in a way. Because yeah. they, they saw me as like some kid that just run around. They thought I was just like a naughty bad kid, basically. Mm. Just because I didn't get the grades and stuff. But yeah, that's 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 the main reason I yeah. went to the UK. That's what I was going to say. Mum taking you to England is a very brave choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, yeah. All right. So I want to ask, okay, so about, why the hell do I always start like that? I just realized. <laughs> I must just ask the question. Um, So... In Hong Kong, what what's up like? What would you say is surprising over in Hong Kong? Um, to like a UK person. Yeah, to yeah to a UK person. Oh, just how convenient it is, bro. I mean, yeah, it's 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 so different. It's literally completely mm. different around here. Whereas like in UK, it's like you want, you want you want to see a friend sometimes. So you got like travel like hours and hours sometimes. Two hours yeah. to get here, bro. Two hours. Yeah, two I mean, hours it's to get two here, hours bro. Here, but you live in a whole different end. Yeah, two hours though in Hong Kong, you can get from fucking north south. Yeah, south, you can go you can there mean? and back, bro. Literally, yeah, yeah, honestly. Uh, it is insane. It is yeah, yeah. How convenient is this madness? It's actually mad. So, is there any stereotypes about Hong Kong that you'd be able to break? Um, or kind of like, what's that word? Um, debunk? Is it debunk? Stereotypes oh, Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Stereotypes. Ooh. Everyone is, I don't know, what, I don't, what's a stereotype? What's a typical stereotype that you think of? I don't really know like that though. Yeah, so I say always know. Russian. It was Russian. Russian. I think the, the, the pace that they live yeah, in yeah. is very, very fast. Mm. Whereas in Hong Kong, whereas in UK, the pace is quite slow. The, the, the way people live is like, People like to small talk and stuff, like like oh hello, what's up? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? No one, no one's doing that in Hong Kong, bro. No one's doing that in Hong Kong. You, you, you know, they want to, they want to say what's what's yeah, necessary. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. If, they, if they don't know you, they wouldn't talk to you, basically. Yeah. yeah Whereas yeah. in UK, it's like you would just talk to like you would just talk to a stranger. Really. Yeah, random people just stop me yeah, sometimes. Yeah, like, yeah literally, the the, per, the woman off, across the train to me is talking to me about the weather and stuff. You 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 <laughs> you would never get that in Hong Kong. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah no, nah, you would yeah, get yeah, that in Hong Kong. She's fifty, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't no, know why, but sweet Asian boy. Yeah, 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 let yeah, me yeah. talk to <laughs> Bro, I remember what's good. I was in the. I remember I was walking in the supermarket. And a random yeah. old lady just started talking to me. Yeah, exactly. I don't yeah. remember what she was talking to me about, yeah. but I can't help but reply. Maybe yeah, it's because yeah. we're the only people that are going to talk. Nah, it's a British thing. It is definitely yeah, a British yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very UK. You, yeah. you would never get that in Hong Kong. Nah. Like, it would just be weird. Like, if I was to just talk to a random person about the weather mm. in Hong Kong, they look at you like I'm mad. <laughs> I've just never been on Kong. I would like to go, though. It's a different, different... It's a different world, honestly. Different world, it man. takes... It would take uh, someone a long time to like, adapt to settling in Hong mm. Kong, I think, it, if you grew up here. Because yeah. only two places I've been to in Asia is Vietnam and Thailand. But I went okay. to Thailand when I was younger. And I really love Vietnam, so I would love to compare like how oh, Vietnam yeah. is like with yeah. Thai, uh, with with Hong Kong. Okay, okay. You should definitely go then one day. You should definitely go. Who the hell am I going with? Well, me, like, come with me. What the hell? You you barely I know anything about bro. yourself. I don't, don't, don't worry about it, bro. I just I just take it around. I take it around. Yeah. But I mean, like, I see because I compare. I think like I see Vietnam as a more like like a cheaper part of Asia, mm. and Hong Kong I see as a more more expensive. No, there's two sides. I think there's two yeah, sides. There's two sides of Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a cheap side and the bougie side. Yeah, I say. So let's say I'm. A pound. Oh. Can I can I eat for a pound? Like a filling meal for a pound in Hong Kong? A filling no. meal? You can, can you get, get like a pound? pound. You can no, I don't not filling meal. You can get like a couple of street food and stuff. But when say you fill yeah, yeah, yeah. it, see man, yeah. if, you Viet, <laughs> if you go to Vietnam, it's a different story. Yeah. yeah if you go yeah, to Vietnam fair enough, right. right now, one pound, that can get you a filling meal. Yeah. A mm. bowl of pho and a drink. Have you um have you got any uh comments or like people DMing you about like moving to England? Yeah, I do. Um, of the it's Hong usually yeah, it's usually the moms that like they they're, the sending, they're trying to send a kid to UK and they really? ask me what it's the like. Moms ask you about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, like, are yeah, they just asking you about that? <laughs> no, they try to ask you for like advice, like yeah, for the yeah, yeah. for the child. And I usually just say like, just try and talk to the people in UK because a lot of people they almost like put a lot of Asian people they put the UK Western people in like a pedestal. Almost. Yeah, they do. They, they always do. like yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. they almost like almost like kind of
I feel like UK people, they're pretty open. Like, they they wouldn't really... I mean, some would, but they wouldn't really judge you too much if you really try and just talk to them like a normal person. I know, UK yeah, people yeah, don't yeah. judge you. you exactly. Like, you can literally do anything. Yeah, yeah. At most, people will look at you for a few seconds and they'll get on with it. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. In Asia, you're judged. Yeah. You're we'll judged. talk about you in the next life as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly, man. And yeah. the generations after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But over, over here, nah, man. I feel yeah. like, if anything, UK people can be given an award for just being able to mind their own business. Yeah, exactly. That's facts, man. I think it's easier to, a lot easier to make friends here than people think. People just think like, oh, maybe because oh, I'm an Asian, maybe they won't like me or something. Mm. I don't think is that nah. really is an issue, honestly. No, I don't think so as yeah, well. I so, don't think so. Yeah, so when they ask me like, oh, my daughter's coming to UK, what, any advice? Just try and talk to people. Like just, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's my best People are very advice. open to accepting it as well. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, so, yeah, definitely. so would you say coming that. over here, have you gravitated more towards like a, like an Asian friendship circle or just, you know, a mix or um, Western, no, like, I say both. Uh, before uni, I didn't really have many Asian friends. Yeah, yeah, that was me as well. Yeah, yeah. And but in uni, I met a couple of people from Hong Kong. They're really international. They like they speak English and stuff. So it's like quite, American English. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Because okay. they went to international school in Hong Kong. Yeah, you see. yeah, yeah. So they understand like the Western culture and stuff. Mm-hmm. And was, it was always always nice to like have friends from like Hong Kong and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I never yeah. really had that growing up. And they and, they've experienced the same thing as you, kind of. Yeah, kind of, kind of. I'll say so. Yeah, so. But really growing up though, in secondary school, primary school, mm. I didn't really have many Hong Kong friends. Most of my friends were just like just white kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, kids, yeah. Literally when I was in primary school, up until uni, yeah. so just so everything before uni was literally all my friends, barely any East Asians, Southeast Asians, barely any. Yeah, yeah. Most of my friends were like South Asians, black, white, mm. like that's literally all my friends. And then uh, when I got to uni, that's when I met this guy. Okay. And then that's when I started getting introduced to more Asian, then more of the Asian scene. Okay. okay. So now it's weird though, because yeah. so I was I was uh, raised in Blackpool, like okay. just above Manchester. Yeah, yeah. yeah so no, I don't know right. if you've been, but um, all my friends are white. And for some reason, when I came to London and I came to university, I was like, I just gravitated towards Asian people. Yeah, it's like, that's same. And I was like, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I would say I'm definitely whitewashed. Yeah. So for me to like gravitate towards Asians, like, it's pretty, pretty yeah, weird. Yeah, but yeah. it's like it just felt normal and natural mm-hmm. almost, and like I just understood them. I just, you know. It's a lot easier to to talk to them as well. Yeah, just yeah. through like you know growing up, especially like especially British Asian kids. Mm. Um, that's yeah. It's for some reason, I just gravitate toward Asian kids. Yeah, I think it's when I re- I think it's uh, when I reached uni. That's when I started to sort of get a bit more in touch with my sort of Asian culture. Yeah, literally saying mm. yeah. because before that, I barely let's be uh, yeah. aside from some of the stuff I'm learning at home, I barely knew anything about it. Yeah, but now yeah. that I'm in, you know, after I was after I got into uni, I started interacting with different Asian people, and even this podcast. Now I'm starting to understand my Asian side more yeah. and understanding, understanding more about the culture. Like just hearing different stories like yours and other people we have on. That's what I'm starting to learn more about it. Yeah. yeah. Would you consider yourself British? It's like a passport, every- you can't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like people can kind of tell I'm a bit whitewashed though. But I always just say I'm from Hong Kong. Just oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I say, I'll, I'll say I'm from Hong Kong, but if they ask again, I'll just, I'll just be like, I grew up in the UK. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say I'm Cause British. Because when you think you're from Hong Kong, you threw me the fuck off. I can't lie to you. Really? You didn't think so? No, because yeah, I thought you, oh. you like you, how you talked, how you dressed, yeah, yeah. like proper British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. shit. And then like unraveling the whole story about you coming over eight years old. And yeah. then, okay, it makes, it makes more sense now. It makes okay, more yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought you just picked up the culture quick in like three nah. years coming from uni or something. Uh, it's quite hard doing that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 can, yeah. When you meet people for the first time, can they can they pretty much tell that you're from Hong Kong or do they assume something else? Um, do you mean in Hong Kong or over here? Oh, over here, they they usually they just um, some some people think I'm Korean. Yeah, I guess I guess because you're good Korean. looking. No, I don't think so. Nah, I, think, just, I think Koreans are a lot more yeah. on media, so people are just yeah, yeah. They're like, are you Korean or Singapore or Malaysian? I guess is it? Yeah, no really? one really, no one says Hong Kong. Yeah. How about in Hong Kong then? Do they Hong Kong? You... They they not they can tell I'm like whitewashed though. Oh, no, they're they... good, man. Asian people are yeah, good yeah. at telling if you're not <laughs> yeah, if you're not local, just... right? They're yeah, very yeah. good at telling. Yeah, yeah. So the way you walk, apparently, mm. <laughs> I don't know, but like <laughs> they were always like they would speak English to me, like even, yeah, really? even though I can yeah, yeah, even though I can speak Canto. Yeah. Shit. Well, it's straight out, out like well, depends depends on the person, depends on the person, depends on the area you're in as well. Yeah, but a lot of times they just. Let's say like a waiter comes by. Okay. I'm at a restaurant. They would be like, oh, they would speak English, approach me in English. Yeah. Oh. So is that, it's kind is of that mad. Like, like they, mad they just know. From yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a backhanded thing, bro. Because yeah. they're doing something good for you because obviously yeah, yeah. now you're going to understand them. But at the same yeah. time, they're like, yeah, this guy's not one of us. <laughs> yeah, this guy, we don't claim him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. But it's crazy how they can just see because yeah. I was told like, when I was, because I was in Vietnam recently, I was um, during the summer. So around uh, July until September. So yeah. literally for my whole summer. And whilst I was over there, they could just, even before I spo
Is the way it? I walk is apparently How do you walk? not Could Vietnamese. You mean, like, bro, I, I walk like a tourist, tourist apparently. Like a tourist. I walk oh, like okay, I don't belong there. Is what, you just look around and stuff? Not even that. I don't have to look around. Apparently, it's the way I walk. Like I think I walk like a like 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 I'm fucking what's the word? Ah, like. Like what? I don't know how to explain it. Like, <laughs> like privileged. Oh, okay. Privileged. I'd say so. Apparently, <laughs> like that's that's I think that like, the way they they kind of insinuate it. Where are you walking, bro? I just walk, bro. Where are we going? Like, just, like, where are you going? Walk around, man. Okay, okay. I just walk around. I, I think I dress like them as well. Like wearing shorts, bro, some you random shirt. Are far from that in London. But regardless, bro. anyway, anyways, you're far from that. We're far more, from that. But, for, but regardless, anyways, when I'm over there, like the moment they clock that um, what's good? They clock that I'm a you know non-local. Uh -huh. Just, I get one or two things, man. Treated really well or scammed, scammed the fuck out of. Mm, okay. Going back to, um, you know, mum's messaging you and stuff like that. Yeah, about, yeah. You know, sending their kids over. What else do they say? Like, what else um, kind of? Just kind of, uh, and I get some um, some people that have actually moved it already. Yeah, yeah, uh, Maybe yeah. they're like early on, maybe first year or something. Mm -hmm. They ask me like how to make friends and stuff. That's really the main th comments, oh, wow. DMs I get, yeah. yeah. And these are, for, are these from Hong Kong? These guys are from Hong Kong as well? Most of them, yeah, yeah. And oh, they, wow. Like they selling in the UK, they probably like finding it quite hard and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. just ask me for advice and here and there. That's it. Oh shit, crazy. Yeah, yeah that's, that's actually really interesting that people, you know, yeah, yeah, find it hard to to simulate into the into the. I mean, I guess it is hard though, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah especially yeah. the UK. Mm. It's especially, such a really weird culture. I feel like a very mm. distinct and unique culture. Yeah, it's a very like it's honestly it's so opposite to Hong Kong as well. Mm. So it's it's really hard to sell in, especially if you move here once you've like maybe like seventeen, eighteen. Once yeah. you're so used to the Hong Kong culture. So what is your advice then? What is your advice? I just, honestly, I just say just go around and just try and meet people. Even yeah. though like, because I, mean, I also in the UK, it's a bit hard though, man. It's kind of dangerous you if you talk to the wrong people. Okay, yeah, true. But I mean, like, <laughs> was it, was it in class, bro? I'm not, I'm not even going around the streets, bro. They're in class. Yeah, like, no, I'm not, yeah, oh, exactly. okay, okay. yeah, yeah, talk to the person next to you. And the environment, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, 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 don't go out to the, fuck, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. They, talk to the, they talk to the person next yeah, to them whilst they're in, yeah. in class. Running around, oh, no, man, no, that, yeah, because yeah, if you if you add the context behind it, then okay, I understand. Yeah, but yeah. I was thinking, right, just talk to random people. No, no, nah, I mean like in <laughs> class. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like in English class. Yeah, There's some some guys here. I'm just like, what's up, bro? Would yeah, you would you recommend man, right? would you recommend coming in then for people um, like abroad? No, not not specifically Hong Kong, but ooh, like from any like, 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 America, UK. wherever. I'll be honest, I don't think it's as good as people think though. UK. Mm. Like, oh yeah, hundred percent. People have this like I said before, right? People have this pedestal to put. The Western culture and then the pedestal, yeah. As of like our oh, UK is all like sunshines and rainbows yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it ain't like that, bro. Nah, it ain't yeah, it ain't like that, bro. I think anyone in Asia just looks at UK at the better as a better life. Yeah, yeah, but always, and they always go like, "Oh wow, you you go to school in UK? That's so sick. Oh, it must be so fun there." Mm. Yeah, let me bro, introduce I, you to my yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up in the most depressed city you're in Blackpool. England. Yeah, I've been, bro. Like I've seen the yeah, highest suicide yeah. rates, <laughs> highest crime rates. It's really? Great. Yeah, highest suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Blackpool's got the highest suicide rates yes. in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it that boring? And depression, depression as well. That's crazy. Yeah, I did crazy. not know that. I, I, I remember being there. The weather was terrible. Because it, it, was, it, was <laughs> it, it was next to the sea, bro. Anywhere in the UK, the weather's yeah, terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sea is black. It's yeah. not even like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. even clear nothing. Damn. Windy as fuck. Yeah. Are yeah. oh, you sure? Nah, there's no way. Nah, is it Google actually it. the highest? Google it. I don't have my phone. I'll do my phone. Number. I'm telling you right now. That, I didn't yeah, know it was that bad, yeah, man. It's bad, bro. It's bad. Let me check it. Let me check it. Um, there's a water park there in Blackpool. There right? is, there yeah, is. Yeah, you been? I've been, I've been, yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, I've it's known... not bad the water park yeah, though. Yeah, 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 it's not seven bad. years, yeah. seven years I've known him. Yeah, I haven't visited Blackpool yet because he just he he keeps downplaying it. I'm not. Yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, he no, downplays yeah, it so yeah. much. He's like, yeah, other no places to go in England than the fucking Blackpool. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Um, so, where's your favorite place in the UK? I should say London, honestly. I mean, yeah, but like, sorry, yeah, I should be more specific. Oh, where's your favorite places to go in London? Mm -hmm. I say Chinatown sometimes. Oh, yeah, I miss of course. Home. Yeah, I love Chinatown. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I miss home. I'd say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wander around Chinatown. There's so much to do there. I found out recently. Apparently, um, the Chinatown that everyone goes to wasn't even the original Chinatown. Is it? What do you mean? Apparently, the original Chinatown was in Queensway. Queensway, yeah. What was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I did not know that. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I what went there recently. Um, recently, like nice? for dim sum. It didn't look like Chinatown to me, bro. No. There's barely any Chinese restaurants. Oh, yeah. There's a few. Wait, so what happened? And how was it? Don't know. Do you know what happened? I don't know. I don't know. Big um. I don't know actually, but yeah, no, I just googled it. Is Blackpool is the most depressed oh. city in? Uh, it's quite, it's quite sad to hear actually. I should um, laugh actually. I should laugh. I should yeah. laugh. I should laugh. I, should laugh. I, just realized. <laughs> I just realized. I shouldn't laugh. It's the way he said it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, but it. a lot of um, I do say a lot of uh, places in England are not all that. Um, yeah. Like only London, I think, is the best. Yeah. The best. 
of the yeah, because you've got loads of stuff to do. Everything's yeah. accessible. I mean, yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's but yeah, overall, UK is not as good as people think. That's why I think. Mm. Oh no, like, I agree. I agree with you. Like, it's I, just, yeah, they've never experienced it. Honestly, yeah. they, they just see it on maybe they see it on the movies and stuff. Mm. They see like the London Eye, the Big Ben. Yeah, they see the blue skies. Media's portrayal of it is so much better than actually is. Just go like maybe a few streets down and you're going to get us. Just do. They just they don't show. Yeah, they don't show the get away. No, it's true though. It is true. It's true. You know what I find? Yeah, yeah, which is pretty funny. So recently, obviously, there's a lot of um. Hong Kong people coming over mm-hmm. and you know the real estate agents yeah, yeah. they are uh, like they're selling properties in, in London or in England and they're just like saying this like, they basically make Croydon sound fucking amazing or like but it's becoming a, a no but like you know or... these ghetto places yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they make it sound like, oh it's so convenient yeah. 20 minutes away from central it's safe place, all this kind of stuff. It's, I find it very funny because yeah. the real coin is not all like, you know, like the Brixton's or whatnot. Yeah, exactly. It's not yeah. like that. This guy's I mean? going to get the whole coin coming for us. No, I'm just saying, though, know, like, that's, how, that's a, lot of, um, a yeah. lot of real estate agents are yeah, selling to like, these yeah. people, right, whatever. Not, I not think they're doing somewhere. everything, that media's doing everything now to make even, you know, certain parts of London yeah. look better than it actually is. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, then they're in for a shock when they come here, always. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're they're always... going to be like, fuck, I spent all my money to get here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. where am I? I mean, it's not what I, I saw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got friends in uni, right? They came here for uni, like only for uni. So yeah. they were in Hong Kong growing up. They came here for like a couple of years, right? I remember the first year they were telling me like UK is not what, what they expected. It's not what really? they saw in the Yeah, yeah. But to be fair, I, I, love, I love England. I love London. Yeah. yeah. Um, just, just, the, just the lifestyle, the culture. Mm-hmm. I mean, I am quite biased because obviously I grew up here and, and whatnot. But I, I could not see myself like, for example, living in Hong Kong. Yeah. It's just too busy. Fair the enough. lifestyle's a lot different. It's humid. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, you can't right. live in America, guns and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, politics. Yeah. I wouldn't live in America. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd be like, too, I'd be too shit scared to go outside. Yeah, I can't yeah. lie to you. Can't lie to you. Like Asian hate, all that kind of stuff is crazy. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah man. That's like London for me, or like England in general is like it's nice. It's like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's actually not. So let's say if money wasn't an issue, mm-hmm. would you rather be living here or somewhere in Asia? Yeah, would you live here or about Hong Kong? But right now, right? If yeah, you had money's no yeah, issue. Money's yeah. not the issue right now. Take that off the board. Money's not the issue. You can live either here or in Hong Kong. Where well, you live. That's living. a hard question. That is hard, isn't it? I think I might just live in Vietnam, bro. <laughs> really? If money I, wasn't an issue, I might just live in Vietnam. I think I live in Hong Kong, I think. You live in Hong Kong? Yeah, yeah. Even though I grew up here, but I think Hong Kong, I like the convenience. I think that's my favorite thing about Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just yeah, like yeah. the life. If money's not, I think like the only thing that makes Vietnam so hard to live in, live in is the struggle to survive. But if you have no, if money's not an issue, then it becomes the, the dream place to be. Yeah. Everything's mm. cheap. Everything's open. It's, you can do anything. Yeah, yeah. Actually, convenience is a, is a yeah, plus. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. 100% is a plus. It's, it's, it's hard though. I feel like if you ask me on, on a different day, I might say London. Really? I might say oh, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you're bipolar yourself. <laughs> Not the weather in the UK. That's crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's ask you about some top fives. Okay. Okay, okay. So, which yeah, one should we start off with? Up. Uh, I don't know. You you got the list, right? I mean, we got yeah, yeah of course. I I don't really know. Um, I'm actually quite curious to myself because. Do you go to Hong Kong cafes, right? Hong Kong cafes. Like, is it like Cha Chan Chan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your uh, What's your top five dishes? Oh, we can just say it right. Yeah, of course, of course. Top five Hong Kong. Top five Hong Kong cafe. No. How do you say Cha Chan Chan? Cha Chan Chan. Cha Chan. Yeah, we will do it in English, man. I will just English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right. What's your top five Hong Kong style cafe dishes? Okay, so number five. It's called Tou Dan Zi, which is like a ham egg sandwich. Ham ah. egg sandwich. Yeah, it sounds very basic, I know, but like, I promise you, the, egg, the way they do the scrambled egg, it's different, bro. I mean, different. it's designed different, to be different. basic, though, isn't it? For people yeah, yeah, in a rush. Yeah. yeah, it's more of like a side dish, I think. Like, you have like a main dish and you have it on the side, but I kind of, like, in Hong Kong, I kind of grew up eating it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's hard, bro. All right, okay. so what's number four? Wait, hold on. Let me say. That's all right, my noise. We can edit that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got worry, nothing to worry about. Yeah, okay. So, number four. It's the satay beef noodles. Come on. Satay, satay beef noodles. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. good. It doesn't yeah, that, sound like a... Have that in the morning, bro. Different. Yeah, yeah. Different, <laughs> I can't lie to you. Breakfast. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> is that is that actually quick to make, though? Satay beef Yeah, it's just instant noodles. Yeah, it's a noodles. Oh, it's noodles. Oh, okay. Satay yeah, okay. beef. That's yeah, that's okay. the, that, yeah, that's the side. Um, And yeah, basically just instant noodles, satay beef. Mm-hmm. Hard. Yeah, hard, uh, hard, bro. What about... What's in third place? <laughs> I'm expecting one to be in. Yeah. There's a specific dish that I'm expecting to be in your what list. What do you know about? There's what only do you one. Know about? I don't know that many. That's why I'm expecting this dish to be on there. <laughs> I bro. love the convenience. Bro, of I'm this trying one. to find the English name for this, bro. No, no, it's it up. Told you we can edit it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will help me as well because I'm not going to know if you say it in Chinese. <laughs> <We're really laughs> now, saying Chinese is nice. And then obviously. Yeah, y
tomato pork yeah, they chop. put it in the oven so ah, really yeah, so it's crispy hard. yeah 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 Ooh. well it's, it's not it's not crispy it's not, not crispy. crispy it's like it's there's there's like a um, it's like a um, it's like a battered it's like battered but then That's it's it. soft though the pork chop is battered yeah I really? think so oh, I think so crazy crazy yeah really. but um tomato sauce over it yeah and there's a bit of cheese as well so it's got like, like cheese pool and stuff yeah. oh, you know there's um, a cheese pool as well yeah, yeah yeah you know there's a Hong Kong cafe in London have you been to it yet there's loads actually now Oh, is there loads? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's literally called Hong Kong Cafe. Oh, oh, Hoko. Oh, oh Hoko. Oh, Hoko, yeah, yeah, Hoko, Hoko. Is it Hoko or Hoko? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I called it Hoko. But oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, there is actually a Hong Kong Cafe in London. Ah, I think they're from Hong Kong as well, right? They, they, I've yeah, never yeah. been, but I've heard of it, though. I've, yeah. I think you guys been. I saw yeah, it in the story. Yeah, it's yeah, the only one I've ever been to. Yeah, No, we went to the 8. We went to Hoko, bruv. I'm saying the 8 as well. We went to the 8, which is a Hong Kong Cafe. The 8? The 8. I didn't go. Really? I didn't go, bruv. Oh, you're missing that, bro. That's a good one. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Day's really good. Anyways, right, yeah. Moving fuck on, moving you, on. You actually don't take me anywhere. Anyway, what's, what's the second, second place? place? Oh, Sorry. shit, we said that. Sorry, hey, you I like that one. Sorry, bro. Second place is called uh, but the pineapple bun. Second pineapple place. Bun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pineapple bun. I love that. You love that. That's so hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so good about it? No, no, you understand, bro. It's like the... It's the bar inside yeah, as well. Yeah, and, it's yeah you crazy. put a bar inside. It's like basically it's a pineapple bun, but then you kind of have this... Slab. But in slide, inside. I know yeah. he always talks about it, but yeah, I still, I still you gotta try, you gotta try. And then like the the crusty thing on the top, I don't, yeah. what, I don't even know what it is, but like it makes it all mm-hmm. crispy and stuff. It's hard. Um, this guy doesn't even always yeah. eat it, but he loves yeah, it. But it's hard, bro. Yeah, it right. goes hard because I don't. Also, there's not even actually pineapple, which is which killed me. I don't know what he told I, me. I thought it was pineapple it. as well, like actually pineapple. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever, but it's not. It's just because of the the thing on top looks like a pineapple. Yeah, exactly. You know, growing up with a pineapple bun, I yeah. I, I I hate pineapple, right? So I avoided it for like growing. I like I never ate it like until I was like twenty. Crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Then I found out, oh, there was no pineapple in it. It's yeah. A, it, it just looks like a pineapple. It's a catfish bun, bro. Yeah, a catfish right, 20 bun, bro. Year, yeah. Your, 20 years of your life just like that. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. All right, what's crazy. number one? Number one, the f- French toast. I see, that's why I, I knew toast. that was going to come. That's yeah. what I was thinking about. That's yeah. it's my, it's by far my favorite, bro. Top, Is there man. anywhere in London that you'd say does it really well? No, not, I've never really tried it. Yeah. Long, it's not like the same, man. You can't, yeah. can't emulate that kind of stuff. But You're going to ruin the memory. It just all goes well together, though, with the mm. butter on top, then they got like the peanut butter inside. Yes. Yeah. You put yeah, a bit yeah. of the syrup uh-huh, around uh-huh. it. Oh, it's heavy, though. Yeah. We had it, it in It's um, heavy, it's heavy. Yeah, I know we had it. Right. In Hong Kong. It's the only, only <laughs> Shit, Hong man. Kong style diner that Why we went to been to together. It's actually jarring, bro. This guy actually thought he took me somewhere. He didn't take me. I swear you've been, bro. I haven't been. The eight? When did we go? I don't know, bro. Who went? Us, isn't it? Was it me, bro? I saw you were there. Fucking snake. Must bro. have been. All right. Now the next one. All right. What is your top five Hong Kong desserts? Oh, what do you mean, what do you mean desserts? Though? I don't know. Is there a Hong Kong desserts? They Hong Kong desserts. Like uh, surely Hong Kong does desserts, right? Hong Kong does great desserts. What, what do you mean? I don't know. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is there any or? like you have like, like the grass chilies? You have like just any Hong Kong dessert. The... Do Hong Kong do desserts? They they, 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 they do surely like, do their own desserts, uh, right? Hong Dol, Hong Dol, like red bean exclusive... stuff. I never had them though. Does really? Yeah, I never really? had them. Never had them. Shit, we had them oh, before. Oh, really? Moment. Fuck. Oh, I thought you meant like like them cakes and stuff. Bro. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so it's like, cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but those aren't really desserts. It's more like a it's like, like, like we get from a bakery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bakery. Yeah. Like, 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 top like, five. Like, like, like the bows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Top five. We can do like top five bows. Yeah, top five bows. Top five bows. Top five bows. Go, Kev. All right. I know bow means buns. Yeah, bow means buns. Yeah. Fuck you, bro. I'm gonna give you some confidence. Yeah, give you a list. Give you a list. Give you a list. Yeah. Now do what you gotta do, man. Is it just exclusively bows? Yeah. Um, yeah, we can do bows. Okay, I okay. think that's enough that I know. <laughs> I only know five, honestly. It's about, I remember watching this video, innit? Oh, did you just do top five like pastries? Pastries? I don't really know pastries. Just say bows. Bows, yeah. yeah say okay. buns. Buns. No. Bakeries? Bun, oh, yeah, buns. buns but yeah. Top five Chinese Hong Kong style buns. Or Hong something. Kong style buns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. What's your top five uh, Hong Kong style buns? Wait, okay, sorry, give me a second. No, no, it's okay. Stop okay. apologizing. It's fair. Okay. Yeah. Good night to apologize for me. Considering I, you know. It's literally on the on the spot, isn't it? Yeah. It takes me okay. a while to come out on my list. He can't okay. make a list in like 10 minutes. Yeah, I can't. It takes me a while. <laughs> my list takes a while, bro. It's a serious, yeah, it's yeah. A serious audio. It's a serious thing, man. All right, so what's your top five Hong Kong style buns? Okay, number five. It's a bit controversial, but Cha Siu Bao. Cha Siu Bao, yeah. okay, okay. How's that controversial? Everyone no, likes Cha Siu Bao. That's my number one. That's why I see. People put that number one, two, yeah. three, I think. Oh, like, yeah, you know it's fifth. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I see I just think it's a bit like... I don't know. I think it's overrated. Overrated. I think it's it's really? a little bit basic. Yeah. Wait, you talk about the 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 milk one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah not the ones. Not the, the white ones, one or the... No, the, the 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 like golden okay, brown the golden one. Brown ye
um like a Chinese high tea, yeah. a Chinese um breakfast. You have to Chinese high. Is that, no, 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 that no, no, the direct no, translation? Tripping, tripping. Chinese um yum cha is like Chinese brunch. Okay. Yeah. I just, no, when you say high tea, I was like, is that the nah, direct nah, translation? That's tripping, crazy. I was tripping. I was tripping. That would be kind of mad though. <laughs> But high yeah. tea, you know, but then fucking yeah. people are like, what the fuck do you want, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the yeah, 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 yeah. So With what's the fourth place? Sorry, my bad, bro. Um, no worries, man. Number four, uh, pork floss bun. Pork I, floss I, I, I don't bun. know if it's actually called that. Pork floss bun. But in Canto, you call it yok song bao, mm. which is like just a steamed bread. There's a bit of pork floss on top of the, br- yeah. of the, brown, of the bread. It's like sauce over it. Mm. What sauce is it? It's kind of it's similar to mayo, but it's mayo. not really. It's like salad cream almost. It's like salad. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can only get that in Manchester. For some reason, they don't sell in it Manchester, here. Manchester, that's like the most whitest area. I'm telling you, you know, in Manchester Bakery, they have that, but they don't have it here in London. What? They have pork floss bun, but they don't yeah. have that white uh, salad dressing on top. Well, it's it's like kind of like mixed in with yeah, the pork floss. Yeah, 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 have you seen yeah, it? You seen it? Yeah? That's buff, bro. Is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hard, can only hard. get it in Manchester though. It's annoying. I've never seen it around in London, honestly. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. It's not in London. But it's in Manchester. Yes, bro. I, when next time I go, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> that still makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. Right, Manchester is like literally like like ninety percent white people. Don't take no. this figures legit, legit. <laughs> <laughs> legitimately. Yeah. Um. All right. What's in third place? The sausage bun. Sausage yeah. bun. Okay, Trans okay. Bao. That was my go-to growing up. You know, that's so yeah. basic. I what do you mean? What's a base for? It's, it's, it's a base so for a reason. Basic. Like everyone likes it. You know? Yeah, okay, base for fair, a reason. Fair, you know what I mean? Exactly. You know, exactly. If you justify yeah, yeah, yeah. my base, basic, you know, I get fair. Yeah, fair. It does get boring sometimes, you know. It's just yeah. But, yeah. All right, then the second, your second place must be really good then. Second place is uh, my second place is Lyo Bao. Lyo Bao, which yeah, is yeah. I don't know what it's called in English. A uh, custard bun, eh? Custard, yeah, custard bun, yeah. yeah. Custard bun, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. Custard bun, fair enough. I had that whole idea. Remember when it was like Lao Bao and Lao Bao? Yeah, Lao Bao. But then yeah, the other ones are volcano egg egg one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number what's your? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, that's a great. I love that. It's great. Um, what's in? What's your top dish? Bolo Bao. It has to be Bolo Bao. Bolo Bao has to be. Bolo Bao is the pineapple bun. I was saying. Yeah. Huh? Bro, you, you don't know, man. You don't know you this know, shit. You know, you know, you this is huh? already, wait, did you not say it already? No, 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 no. no. We said it. We just said about. We just said about. Yeah, said about pineapple, pineapple buns. Pineapple bun was before. a different list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pineapple bun's my first for this list. Oh yeah, shit! The buns. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a bun as well. All yeah. about for me. All top, about man. yeah, yeah. Pineapple bun. Do so you just hard. have it plain, or do you have it with the chasu inside? Chasu inside the pineapple bun. Yeah, trust me. I've never had. that. It's kind of so excited. So I buy that from now on. So when I go to Chinatown and bakeries. I get the ball of I've never heard. I've never heard of that. Ball of chasu in it. You got Chinese things different, out, in it. bro. Damn. It's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I, I gotta try it. You gotta try yeah, it, man. Gotta try it's it. really, really good. So obviously, if you like chasu bars, yeah, I like chasu bars. Then, so. then you put that inside a ball of Sounds, 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 sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, bro, I need to try this pineapple bun. I can't believe I haven't tried it. I can't believe you never tried yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta try it, man. You know what? I'm. You just look disappointed for the whole list. I don't really. Yeah, it's because I don't know. He's no, no, no. The only one I really knew on there was the the chasu bar, which was at the end. And what was the other one that I um. Fuck, is that all I knew? <laughs> you know Bruh, what it is? Man. I got to see the visuals. The names yeah. are throwing me off. Yeah, yeah The names yeah. are throwing me off. I, don't, I need I, to see yeah. them. What you try, have you tried the sausage bun yet? Yeah, yeah, that, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, tried yeah, it. Yeah. Literally like the Frankfurt inside. Yeah, yeah literally. literally like, yeah. That's why I said it's boring. Nah. I didn't say it's boring. I said it's basic. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Is it actually Frankfurt though? Because it tastes different than the Frankfurt, it, it? does taste a bit different, but I'll, I'll say it's like pretty similar. Pretty similar, yeah. similar yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think of, um? this is this is hella random, but because you're talking about Frankfurt, I was like, what do you think of the Chinese sausage? What, lap chung? Lap chung. I love it. Lap Cheng? I don't know what that is. Huh? You never tried Lap Cheng? I've Chinese heard of it, but I don't know. Is it like Hong Cheng? You know Hong Cheng? Hong, Hong Cheng is, is like... Red... Wait, what is Lap Cheng? It's like Lap Cheng. I think I'm tripping. Maybe it's, it's a bit Chinese wait, show, show me your phone. No. Show me your phone. Yeah, go on. Fuck my life. Pull up. I'm playing around. Right Chinese... I can't believe you never tried it, bro. I think I have tried it, maybe, but I need this to see it sometimes. I've never tried it. Never tried it. Never tried it. Never tried it. Is it Chinese or is it Vietnamese? I think it is Chinese. Yeah. I can't believe you never tried this one. What's the one you said? Hong Chang. Hong Chang. What's that? Um, Hong Chang. Let me try and search up. Oh, I just searched up the name. Oh, wait, can you write Chinese? No. Oh, <laughs> can you? No, I can't speak it. I say it. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yes, even, so even my subtitles, I just speak to it. Bro, I can't. See, the sad, the sad thing is, right? Hong Chang. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sad thing is, right? I, I obviously I know English because I was born. Yeah, here. yeah. My Vietnamese, I can speak it, but even my speaking Vietnamese is not even that great. Do you have like an accent when you speak it? Actually, I want to get onto that in a bit. I want to get onto that. I'm you not... don't have an accent. Yeah. Do you speak it? Canto. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you, it's, you pop a sound. It's, it's mild. It's mild. mild. Yeah. Speak I think maybe you got con. Well, just give me a
What language is it? Canto. Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you when you speak Canto, yeah, it yeah. literally yeah it does it literally just kind of sounds the way it's similar to how you speak English. Yeah, yeah. I feel like when I speak Vietnamese, no, I, for me because when I speak Chinese, yeah, I sound white. No, as I meant his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours, yeah. yours is a lot stronger than mine. Yeah, yeah. by far, by yeah, far. Yeah, by can... far, by far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yours kind of sounds kind of similar to like the, the accent sounds the same as kind of when okay, you speak um, yeah, yeah. speak English. Yours oh also, right, you when I that? speak, yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, but when right. I speak Vietnamese, it kind of sounds slightly different to how the way how I sound you know when I speak English. What do yeah. you mean though? Like, how like, what's um, the Give me something. I fucking I don't know. What's the time? Yeah. And Mayo, yeah. I think it's just a tone, though. You know how like Vietnamese is. However, it's also because I'm talking to you guys. If I talk to a Vietnamese person, I take on a whole, whole Vietnamese accent. Like, like he's trying to say that you sound road when you. No, 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 When you when you when you speak Canto, basically. <laughs> nah, do you guys do this thing? <laughs> a road man Canto. Do you guys do this thing? Like, so this is what happens, right? When I speak Vietnamese, if I'm speaking to my sisters, for example, mm. it's I, I speak the way I normally do, innit? Okay. But if I'm speaking to my uncle, yeah, yeah, it changes up. And same with English. If I speak English to um, a Vietnamese person. My English takes on like a, a weird accent. Is it because you go slower? To, so yeah, no, it takes on like a Vietnamese understand. person speaking English. Is that, do you do it subconsciously? Yeah. Okay. But then my sister pointed it out and now I'm, co- I'm conscious of it. Oh, I, I don't do that, man. I don't do that. Like I'll, I'll speak to my mom the same way I speak to like a, my, a friend in Cantonese. No, it's weird, man. Because yeah. I'll be like, like, obviously the way I'm speaking English to you guys right now is the way I normally speak, right? Yeah. But because my uncle, he doesn't know proper English. Mm. Like he knows like some bits, some mm-hmm. words and bits. So if I'm speaking to him in English, because, you know, trying to help him improve his English. Yeah. My my accent just switches up and it becomes like a Vietnamese person who's, ju- who's just spoke, just learned English. Okay. That's weird. That's weird. crazy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I feel other people do it as well. I feel like it's a, maybe it's a way we're trying to make it easier for I'm the person we're speaking that. to. I'm just trying to get my words across, bro. Yeah, I can't yeah. lie to you. Yeah, exactly. So maybe that's what we're doing, like, isn't it? Yeah. Subconsciously. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. How did you learn? So did you learn Cantonese um, throughout, like coming to, like during your time in England or? What? How did you like like maintain the Cantonese? Yeah, maintain it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was kind of hard, honestly. Um, growing up, like I mean, I was always when I first got to England, mm. my Cantonese was way better than my English. Like yeah. not even close. I couldn't. I could barely even put a sentence together in English when I yeah. first got here. But um, just really just there was there was a time though during I'll say maybe four or five years ago, my Cantonese mm. was completely gone just because I never really went back. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. 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 Lost touch with it. Yeah. Yeah. Just during COVID, and there was like four or five years I didn't go back. So. Yeah. That was kind of hard, and I just kind of tried to, just because right now I'm around a lot of Hong Kong people. Got yeah. you, got yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So I just try and just throw in ca- Canto words here and there. Just yeah. so, sometimes I listen, I, I get to listen to it more as well. Yeah, just so I'm like in touch with the language still. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, so now that you're surrounded more with Hong Kong people, yeah. it's coming back. Yeah, and also with the videos, that that helps a lot as well. Mm. Because I'm always speak, I'm speaking the language. Even yes. Though, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just speaking the language helps a lot. Definitely, man. Definitely. You're like us, bro. You're literally a banana. <laughs> You're literally a banana. <laughs> nah, no, it's crazy though. Like, like how certain things are just making you kind of bringing you back in touch with the other side of you. Yeah, for real. Like, cause there's actually a time I like my cant was gone. Like, that, that's right? insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Vietnamese got better when I was because I went. Like I said, I went. I go back. I went to back Viet. I went back to Vietnam recently, yeah. and just by being put into that environment where I'm speaking it more, my Vietnamese got better. Okay. But now that I'm back, I feel like it's, it's just disappearing again. Yeah, that's, that's how, that's how, that's how, how it, it always is. Like yeah. when I go back, my canto is you can feel I can feel it is a bit rusty. Mm. But then give it like a couple of weeks, it gets a bit better just because you're always around people speaking it. Mm. Then you leave, it gets worse again. So, yeah. so what was the most challenging thing about you learning English? Because English is not an easy language. Nah, it's not, man. Well, first it's of all, like actually, so difficult. yeah, English is. I don't think learning English is that easy because you got it's hard, bro. Yeah, you got to understand that like, you learn it in English class in Hong Kong, right? Yeah. But it's not the same. It's the people don't talk the same way. Like, yeah. In, in the UK. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah you know yeah. what I mean. So that's the hardest part. And I had like an accent as well. I had okay. like a really, really bad Chinese accent when I first got here. Mm. So I was really conscious about it. I know my accent's like fucked. Okay. I know that. So I will be conscious to speak to say certain words. Oh right, right. Yeah. Right, just right. like I don't want to get made fun of. Don't want people mocking me. Yeah. So what accent did you try to put? On? Well, like I, I didn't put on. I just kind of like really just looked around, okay. to see how people spoke. Yeah, try and like almost like, like kind of mock them in a way, like say mm. it in the same way they say it. Okay, but that was, and I was trying to watch like I was watching YouTube. I was watching. I used to watch SpongeBob to learn English. What nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. You learn it through SpongeBob. Yeah, because like I would hear I just, <laughs> just, just, just like no, because that was my favorite show. Going yeah, man. Yeah, so why is this SpongeBob? Why is this SpongeBob? I don't know why, but I just imagined you with like one of the characters' accents from SpongeBob. Yes, I started No, no, because it was like a kid show, right? So it was like it wasn't. I didn't feel like I was learning. I was just watching it to. 
just be in touch with the, with English, you know? Yeah, how, yeah, how yeah, yeah, put, yeah. Because I, I, bro, I couldn't put a sentence together. Yeah. That was the hardest part. Crazy, so, crazy. Yeah. That must have been really hard for you then growing up, especially yeah, like, for real. in classes. You're like, what the yeah. fuck is going yeah, on? Especially when like everyone else spoke fluent English, right? Mm. Then there was just me. I mean, that's the hardest part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, English has got too many silly rules, bro. Yeah, there is, yeah. I used to think it was the easiest language to learn. I was like, mm. I was always so shocked when people taught, whenever I was in Vietnam and people just told me like how uh, how hard it is to learn English. Like they'll literally give up at some point during mm. their academic life. Yeah. Like I thought, I was like, what the hell are you on about? English is so easy. Until I started doing like courses to teach it. Mm. I'm like, damn, there's so many rules. It's, it might be one of the hardest languages just because of those rules. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. No, I agree. I think English is really hard. Especially from a foreigner's perspective. Yeah. I was going to say though, um, so obviously when you came over, how did you um, like manage st- st- start to manage your ADHD? When I first came over... Yeah, like how did that... What was that process like? The first was the classes were a lot shorter. In, yeah. in Hong Kong, the classes were like an hour long. In Hong in UK, there's only like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. not. I, yeah, for me. It? Bro, I, I oh, just had 45 in, minute classes. Yeah. 15 minutes of it, it just fucking getting sit, sitting exactly, down. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, getting ready. Like, I'm talking about primary school. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, school, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know why I think about that secondary school stuff. Yeah. Okay, and cool. also, um, also in UK, yeah. like in the schools, it's a lot more engaging. Like people, like you would talk to the teacher, the teacher would ask you questions. It feels like a conversation. Yeah. Whereas in, oh, okay. whereas in Hong Kong, it's the, literally just a teacher talking to the, to the whiteboard. Yes. Just like, oh, this is, it feels like a lecture. Yes. So oh, that's yeah. a lot harder for someone with ADHD. Yeah, because, you can't focus. You're because you just start drifting off and stuff. Whereas if someone is someone with like the conversation is engaging, yes. it's a lot easier. So uh, that's, yeah. that's, that helps me a lot, honestly. Just being in that, I guess, yeah, it's just, I guess, yeah, that, that, yeah. that's cultural differences. Oh, yeah, so, and, and also like the classes, classes were a lot smaller in mm. England. Yeah, it's like 30 kids, it's usually yeah, around yeah. 30 kids over here. Oh, yeah. How many did you have in Oh, your... no, no. Do you went to boarding school, don't Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, so part. in UK, the classes were like maybe 10, 12 people. Really? Bro, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, honestly, honestly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's but it's boarding school, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it's gonna be like that. You know, I have like thirty kids in the class. Yeah, there's a different sets as well. Like, obviously, yeah. there's more people in the, in the year, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like everyone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. 10, 12 kids makes it a lot, lot easier. Whereas in Hong Kong, there's like forty kids, fifty kids in one class. Even thirty is already enough. Yeah, yeah. no, it's forty than in the primary school I That's went to in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. See, the thing is, right, forty kids in a class. I feel like in in Hong in Hong Kong, right, or uh-huh. in any part of Asia, yeah, yeah, it's easier for the teacher to handle because. The kids already have their respect for the teacher. Mm-hmm, yeah. Over here, there's 40 kids in a class. You're nah, not learning. Game, you're game not learning. Over, game 30, over, you're yeah. not learning, bro. 40, that's <laughs> done. It's game over. Yeah. Yeah, people do have a lot of respect to the teachers in Hong Kong. That's yeah. why it's, that's okay, why no one cares in the UK, bro. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's why the the role of being a teacher in Asia is just, it, it's more, it's more like, Respectful, like yeah. just respectable. Like he has a lot more power, like being a teacher in Hong Kong for sure. Oh yeah, in yeah, UK, yeah. yeah. You say you're a teacher, people might just yeah. laugh. <laughs> Honestly, no, it's, it's really no, it's, it's true, it's, which true. is which is not nice. It's, it's not jarring. Nice. It's actually yeah, jarring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have a lot of respect for teachers. Hard like yeah, like yeah. no, of course. I feel like teachers definitely get underpaid. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's, it's harder than people think. I think. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. And then there'll be, there'll be jobs out there that you're just looking at. You're like, how are you getting paid that much for real for what you're doing? I'm not gonna say what jobs they are because you know. But what's your what's your next steps then? What do you, you want to do after after uni? uni. Yeah, I've yeah, not yeah. had I don't have a complete like roadmap yet. But honestly, it depends how my content stuff takes off. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, so, fair, fair, fair. So if it does take off and you know it goes well, I think being in Hong Kong would probably be better for me. Okay, um, just because that's where my audience is. Yeah, and I think like there were more opportunities for me there because in the UK, I don't have I don't have really have a UK audience. I have a couple Asian kids in the UK that watch me. Yeah, oh, you yeah, yeah. I think you. I, I'm pretty yeah, sure so. you'd have like a load of British Hong Kongers over here. Yeah, watching. yeah, but the main core audience yeah. is yeah. really in Hong Kong. You know, would you not say I, that it's, that's because of the fact that you 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 portray a Western lifestyle in the UK? I guess so. I guess so. If so. you were to go back to Hong Kong, yeah, then it, what yeah. kind of content would you Drop. be kind of be producing? That is true, but I'm talking about like the opportunities though. Okay, oh, so right, work right, right, with collabs right. with like maybe like a brand or something. Yeah, like, yes. really, realistically, all the brands that's ever reached out to me is from Hong Kong. Really, and I have to like reject a lot of them. Yeah, because I'm not there. You know what I mean? Oh, you'd be like, you have to be physically there. Yeah, well. yeah, a lot of times you gotta be there, like maybe like for like a shoot or something. Yeah. I have to like oh, yeah. Yeah, right. man, get them to pay for your ticket. <laughs> yeah, Shit, Ooh, yeah, maybe, man, maybe, man, maybe, man, 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 that's a free holiday. Yeah. What kind enough? of collaborations are you, were you? Uh, I had like a clothes, um, like recently or like just, oh, just in general. Yeah, like oh, what kind of you, a lot of them is like clothing. Yeah, I thought oh, I nice, think so. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's good looking, bro. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, they're gonna reach out to like to model, model clothing, or present or host a set. That's what I'm thinking in my head. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, but. I've I've never actually I couldn't accept them though because I'm here. Yes, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah.
like obviously I'm currently in the UK, but if I come to Hong Kong, if I let you know, then yeah, yeah, a lot of time, a lot of times these things are like campaigns. Okay. So it's like a seasonal thing. Oh. So like um, maybe like uh the, maybe it's like from March to May or something. I have yeah. to be, I, sh- I have to be there from March, like somewhere between that time. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. obviously I got school and stuff, so yeah. I can't really do that. That's crazy. Struggle though. How do you how do you balance everything? With uni and uni, content creation. Content creation. Honestly, like with the content ideas, people a lot of people think I just kind of sit there and just think of the ideas, right? I don't really have like a like that's not how I like, I kind of just walk around, wander around, just look for inspiration. I don't really sit there and just brainstorm for ideas. So that doesn't really so think of ideas doesn't take that much of my time. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, I put I usually put school first though. Yeah, okay, put, yeah. Put my uni stuff first. Yeah. Then I'd get that done, you know, maybe on the weekend. I got some time. I would usually film all my videos in one go. Yeah. yeah. What, for yeah. like, for, let's say, yo, like, for like a week, yeah. Wow. I film my videos in one go, yeah, yeah. So Damn, sometimes I set. Yeah. So I take like Saturday off usually, Saturday or yes. Sunday. So yesterday was Saturday, right? Yeah. So I filmed like three videos yesterday. Crazy. Then I kind of edit them while just throughout the week. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. how I usually plan my videos. Oh, sick, oh, man. That's nice. Yeah. Damn, then you're going to kind of balance it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All fit. <laughs> yeah. It's hard though, honestly, sometimes. Yeah, I bet, I bet. It's hard, honestly. No, I was going to say, yeah, it would be really, really hard. It's like being like consistent as well. Like th- yeah. have an idea every week, a couple of ideas every week. I feel like it's harder than people think. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I wouldn't, def- I would not recommend con- like being in a content creator. Is, yeah. Like, yeah. It's uh, not, it's not easy. Like, and you don't, you don't know if you're actually going to kick off or not. Oh yeah. yeah exactly. Like even, you could yeah. like put this effort into a video, like maybe write a script for it or whatever. Mm. And it, it, it might just flop, you know, it's, it's also, no guarantees. You know? Yeah. And like mm. certain things work for certain people and other things. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, how often do you post? I aim to post three times a week on Insta. So yes. that's the that's the plan, really. Sometimes maybe I get busy, maybe only two times, but I try to aim for three times a week. Three, do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you also, I don't. I see. I don't. Like, I don't see. Really? You posted that regularly? Yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm uh, bugging bro, out. You're said. bugging out, bro. Nah, nah, because I'm. Nah, check, bro. Check. <laughs> I'm sure, bro. You don't Verify, post that. Verify, man. Nah, nah, nah. No, but... this is. Uh, yeah, nah, that's on, what I'm trying to say. You don't post it, that much, yeah, dude. I'm trying to say I'm capping. Am I bugging? Yeah, literally, bro. Do... Literally. Yeah. If I scroll down, wait, hold up. <laughs> 46 <laughs> posts, isn't it? No, no. I will delete some of them, bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, because I only, bro. I only started like in the summer, you know. Oh. Well, last year. Yeah, yeah. I saw like. Amazing, like nine man. months ago. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I feel like you guys, you guys been around longer than me. Yeah, we're old. Yeah, yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, honestly, oh, crazy. you've grown crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's crazy, crazy well, bro. Well, appreciate you, bro. it. Appreciate good it. Appreciate good it. Good in less than a year, you jumped to what like seventy k followers on Instagram. Yeah. That's just like that. That's crazy. That's crazy growth. Yeah, I appreciate like, it, bro. I, like, I'll be real with you. Like, Instagram is so hard to grow compared to like TikTok. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. So just... fact, and it's more valid. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's because ev- everyone trying to be influenced now as well. Mm. It's really hard to stand out. So I feel like you really got to like find your own lane. Like yeah, find where yeah, you stand, yeah, where yeah. your own niche basically. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. the hardest part I think. Especially with podcasters, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. So many, everyone's doing podcasts now. Yeah, yeah. Like I've literally. So it's, many, yeah. It's just, it's like, yeah, literally you just kind of like capture the whole, like everyone's doing it. Yeah, you're not doing good though. I feel like you got your own niche as well. Like Asian stuff. Yeah, no, it took us a while yeah. though to get here, innit? Because yeah, yeah. I, know, I know like earlier on, like we used to, because I, I got OCD in it and I overthink yeah. everything. So when yeah. we first started, I kept trying to like, you know, write. I was this this whiteboard. Mm-hmm. I always tried to like brainstorm different ideas in it. Okay. And then um have things that we could say. Mm-hmm. But now we don't do that. Nah, yeah. We just like, we to barely touch this board now. Yeah. Okay. When was the last time we even touched this board? Well, yesterday. But yeah, yeah but I, I mean before <laughs> that, we haven't touched it for a while. Yeah, before <laughs> that, before okay, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So is, is your 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 plan is to become like a content creator full time? Oh, that's the ideal plan, yeah. That's, that's what I'm plan. going for. I what's your, what's your, what's your uh, parents say? Hmm? What do your parents oh, say? Like, oh, my shit. parents, oh, they don't really understand it, honestly. Like, <laughs> I tell them, I tell them, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, like, when I tell them, I've got this brand deal, I've got this collab, like, yes. oh, it's, yes. like, it's like a big moment for me. Do of you know course, what I mean? of course, yeah, they, yeah. They don't understand it, bro. They don't mm. understand it. Like, why, why are people just watching you? Yeah. <laughs> You're just talking, just talking to the camera. Well, I don't get it. You know what I mean? They, that's the same thing my parents. Yeah. But that's the older generation, isn't it? They don't really understand it. Exactly. And, like, my videos, like, my target audience isn't, like, her like that of kind of, that yeah, kind of age group, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's I understand why she doesn't get it, but it's just it's really hard to get through her head though. Mm. That's the hardest part. So who is so it? Has it so she hasn't still acknowledged. She doesn't understand do. it. She like she I tell her what, what I do, but she doesn't get it. Mm. She, yeah. It's like that's nah, always how it is with Asian. That's parents, always how like, it is, man. That's always bit, how it is. Yeah, because they grew up like more traditional, right? They're like, oh you gotta grow up. Work a nine to five, yes, and yeah. get money. You know, work your way up type, type, type that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, they expect yeah. you to fo- follow the same exactly. Norm they, whereas, like this
Yeah, but yeah, content yeah. creator, they I think what they don't understand is that if you become a successful content creator, yeah. the money's big. Yeah, yeah, money's yeah. Big. But in Hong Kong as well, in Hong Kong, it's big. Say, yeah. is, is really big. Yeah, is it? If you make yeah. it in Hong Kong, I, yeah. entertainment industry over there is yeah. good as well. Yeah, but you're growing crazy, like not just not just on Instagram though, like even on in, uh, on YouTube, you got like what twelve k followers. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. Uh, I've been kind of slacking a bit though on YouTube. Really? Are you trying to get hard? Oh, uh, YouTube yeah, is YouTube hard because yeah. it's longer. It's longer yeah. content. And, I feel like there's people don't have the attention span for to watch just a ten minute video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas short form content, I feel like that's like the future. I yeah. think so. Yeah, you have I to be agree. really good, like if you want to yeah. hold the. But there's a balance, isn't there? There's a balance you yeah. can both. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, you have to be like know what you're saying or have really good content to hold the engagement of an of an audience on YouTube yeah, 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 for exactly. longer videos. Ah, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's been a it's been a good chat. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything you'd like to to? Uh, like any questions you want to ask us or um talk, uh, not not right no, moment, it's all good, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah thank you for coming on man of course, I think it's course, been a really bro. good chat um yeah would you like to plug any any of your socials or yeah probably? just Thierry 7 H I E R Y that's my Instagram that's really my main focus right now yeah we'll nice, tag man. we'll tag it like yeah, appreciate collab it. yeah, yeah. Post and whatnot anyway yeah, yeah, yeah of, of course, course of course to worry about um that. yeah we've been your host I'm Kevin and I'm Eric Thierry Thierry yeah thanks for coming man